Hey guys, Kelly Nyberg here with another What's Up Sioux Falls. And this gentleman to my right here is Jeff Turn. You may not recognize his face as much as you recognize his voice from being on radio for Thank years. Thank God you don't recognize my face. I know. Um, because they put me on radio for a reason. And yeah. now you're putting me on TV. So we are I'm sorry, What's you Up on Sioux TV. Falls. Well, I'm just glad that you dressed up for us today. You know what? This is actually more than I usually <laughs> wear for people like you. So uh, uh, this is People actually, like me? What is that supposed to mean? This is pretty good. Friends <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. But yes, uh, I did put on some shorts today. I uh, put on some pants uh, and uh, ready to do some fun. Well, we are excited to have you and stay tuned because at the end we are going to have a special announcement of some stuff that's going to be coming up soon with Jeff. But before that, you were on ESPN radio here for over 10 years. Yes, it makes me feel old. I had much more hair back here uh, yeah. 10, 10 and a half years ago, but <laughs> you know how that kind of works where uh, you start to get going and then uh, it just it, it feels like it was maybe three, four years and then it was 10 and a half years. So. That's crazy. Now, we used to be, I used to be on Kickin. We were in the studio next to each other. Lots of laughs yes. whenever I saw you, obviously. When you walked in this morning, I didn't realize how tall you were. I grew uh, since the last time you well, saw no, me. Well, no, you were always sitting. I, was, always, <laughs> that was I never stood up studio. ever. <laughs> I never stood up in all the time you knew no, me. No, you so. didn't. I was like, wow, you're awesome. taller than I remember. <laughs> yes. Or you got shorter. That could have been uh, the case could, too. It's probably the yeah. truth. Yes, probably. yes. Okay, so let's talk briefly. You are from Sioux Falls, uh, and you've had quite the interesting broadcasting career. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I started doing radio in Nashville, and from there I was able to come back here and start overtime on ESPN Radio uh, ten and a half years ago. And then we were able to parlay that into some success nationally where they let us on ESPN Radio they let us go on the Dan Lebitard show and now since I've left local radio uh, I'm going to be working uh, on shows throughout ESPN Radio's platforms uh, on the weekends and weeknights mm -hmm. uh, doing some Sirius XM and also uh, over the years I called a lot of college basketball games and NBA G League games on ESPNU and NBA TV so now doing uh, all Skyforce games on Bally Sports and on ESPN Plus and hopefully uh, this fall doing more of those after their season is done this this spring so yeah uh, and it all came from one day I was in Nashville uh, sitting at a place called the Red Door Bar. My wife and I were figuring out where, where we were going to go next. If we were going to Nashville, Orlando, uh, Atlanta. And I walked across the street to a sports radio show uh, station and asked them, hey, um, do you guys got any jobs if I decide to move here? And they said to me, have you any experience? I said, yeah, I have tons of radio experience. In my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, I've turned on the radio a lot. <laughs> Say, what was I've your listened to a lot of <laughs> They're like, hey, do you know what these machines are? I'm like, yeah, the radio equipment. <laughs> and so <laughs> they would have let me produce some uh, Tennessee Titans broadcasts, and the rest was history. Well, good for you. Congrats, and congrats on your success nationally, especially because yeah. you can do that from home. Yeah, it's great. So Dakota. they can listen still on uh, on the local ESPN radio affiliate, and then Sirius XM Channel 80, and anytime they're on the ESPN app, so they can they can find me there. And the voice is from uh, Hartford, South Dakota, and uh, it goes out to 10 million people from from my house. So that's that pretty cool. That is pretty sweet. So. Yeah. I, I've been meaning to ask you this. I don't know if I ever did. How do you have your expertise in sports? Did you play a lot of sports? Uh, I tried to. I was say, I didn't think that you, sorry, Wait I didn't think you were you, much of an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that because I was so short? Is that what you thought I couldn't actually? <laughs> so uh, but yeah, no, I played uh, baseball for Roosevelt when I was in high school and a uh, part of the 2003 Nash, uh, state championship team. What? Yeah, the, the only picture they put on the front page of the Argus was me sliding into second base. <laughs> Little did they know, the only play I got in for is they, that they put me on first as a pinch runner. I stole second. The next play was a ground out, and then that was and a wrap. And that's it, and that then you got on they the got me paper. diving into second. Uh, but yeah, I played a lot of sports, um, you know, intramurals, college stuff for fun. But, uh, you know, that was the thing. I think a lot of people that you find that do the non-analyst uh, roles are people that love sports but weren't mm -hmm. good enough to do it. So they, <laughs> they put their expertise into talking about yeah. sports. Well, you've obviously done a great job for yourself. Uh, you've Obviously, you mentioned that you've done a lot nationwide. We've talked about that. Uh, you've met a lot of celebrities, I'm assuming, big-time athletes. Yes. Who is your favorite? What was the best experience? Wow. that's a, So from like a broadcasting standpoint, uh, I would say Stu Gatz, uh, who is now on their own podcast network than DraftKings. They left ESPN Radio. But Stu Gatz and the Dan Lebitard show was so awesome to me. I'd say they were right there at the top. But um, as far as actual celebrities, um, wow. You know, the moment that was probably the most embarrassing is when I met Brett Favre. And we were in... Uh, San Francisco at Radio Row and he he asked or we, we asked to meet him and we went over and I, I shook his hand it's the only time I, I remember not knowing what to say and I said you're a god to me and I was like <laughs> oh my god 
how stupid do I just? You know, sound he like gets fake? worse than that. Yeah, but I like, wasn't asking your most embarrassing story, but that's not that embarrassing. That's like it, just meeting someone. I bet I can come up with some more embarrassing stories, but like that one with meeting a celebrity was crazy. Uh, but yeah, I think you know over the years they they kind of uh, who's uh, who's the guy that dated Miley Cyrus? Uh, Liam Liam Hems- Hemsworth. Yes, I got to meet Liam Hemsworth, and that one got me the most credibility with all my wife's friends. I was gonna say <laughs> that one. You're excited. They, no, they were there, like everyone that my wife knew was like texting and sending me messages like I'm so jealous he put his arm around you so that new song flowers have you heard it it's about liam i know it's about liam taylor. yep pretty crazy trust me i love me some some swizz, some swizzle i love me some taylor swift some swizzle. i'm a swifty so yes i love I, me some taylor swift i'm not uh, yeah that's unfortunate. I, her music's getting better i think like i'm enjoying it more i like more. the pop stuff my wife likes like the other stuff but you know we both like some taylor swift yeah yeah oh nice i didn't know that about you okay so i'm gonna ask you some just well these are some of them are pretty random and then some are not what is your least favorite athletic team no matter the sport oh the chicago cubs i hate wrigley field i think it's a dump so you hate the team because of their field and their fans are terrible like a lot of people hate cowboys fans but i hate uh, cubs fans i think they all jumped on the bandwagon when they won the world series a few years ago yeah and, and I, I remember one time i was at wrigley field and this was before they had some renovations and i had to go to the bathroom and i go in and you know women don't have to deal with this but men do and there's a circular Where trough. Is this going? There's a circular trough. And so I'm staring at another man in the eyes as I'm going to the bathroom. And I'm thinking. You didn't have to stare at I'm him in the eyes. It's not a requirement is, that you look him in the eyes. This is a stadium <laughs> of a major league baseball team. And we don't have updated restrooms. And I'm like, I'm done with these people after that. Right? <laughs> whole team. The whole so team. you're not asking me questions, but I'm telling mine, the yeah. Eagles. Oh, really? Because the fans? I think they're crazy. Yeah, they are. They're yeah. absolutely insane. If you have to grease your own city's light poles yeah. so they don't go up and down them. I know a lot of Vikings fans don't like them too because of that championship game a few years ago when they went there and they didn't feel the Minnesota nice when they went Oh, the no, my six foot ten brother in law was scared. Uh, six foot ten. Like it was bad. They were throwing they, beers. They threw at batteries them. at Santa Claus, all right? Yeah, like they, they punched booed. a horse. Somebody ate uh, horse poop. Oh yeah. yeah, yes. I mean, After they, the they booed Michael Irvin when he was laying lifeless on the field, where he, they didn't know how bad that. You know what I mean, they, Michael Irvin's phone number. <clears throat> that's a story. And we he need. accidentally <laughs> texted my brother once. That's the instead that's, of me. That's the story we need. That is the story we need. So if you want to give him a call, I've got it. Irv the perv is what I call him. Oh wow! I know he's not watching this, so <laughs> <laughs> didn't hang out with him or anything. But okay, if you could choose one song, only one song to play every time you walked into a room for the rest of your life, what would it be? Besides Taylor Swift Swizzle <laughs> or Miley? Oh man. Um, Initially, off the top of my head, I'd say Jay Z, Big Pimpin', but that's probably not, not the correct answer. Really fits answer. you well. That's not the correct <laughs> answer. Um, wow. Uh, Five, four, three. Lil Wayne Lollipop. <laughs> that is so random. Actually, probably be California Love. That's probably a better answer. Okay. Tupac. Okay. I haven't heard Lollipop forever. I got to download that. That's a great song. Okay. This is a, this is a weird one. I'm getting that angry. wasn't weird where I went with <laughs> no, Big Pimpin' and Lollipop. Lollipop. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to think about that. Would you rather, you gotta listen carefully, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? Oh, just one horse-sized duck. <laughs> the weirdest question ever. No, it's a good one. I mean, you think about it, you could probably- A million little- Yeah, that's the thing. You could probably figure out a way to seriously injure the one horse-sized duck with a swift kick to something on mm-hmm. its face or its body, but- Before getting all the 100 little horses. You're dealing with all the other pecs you know coming at you that'd be a little bit that'd, that'd be a little, little tough, tough. that'd yes. be a little rough absolutely okay next one if it's you a could great question thank you if you could get rid of any one state what would it be and why probably wow that's an that's another you can't say north dakota no i wasn't gonna go there i like the midwest um gosh let's get rid of texas why Non, we can't do, do politics. Oh, nothing to do with no, politics, yeah. you know. They just take up too much space. Maybe we just break it into a couple more states. Yeah, let's get like 60 states. 60 states. You know that they want to, there's like petitions to have the Dakotas join. Well, why don't we, you know? I'd be fine with that. No, it's, stu- it's history. You it's, can't. I am not a big history person. So uh, yeah. if it didn't happen post 1985, did it really happen? When I was yeah, born? We don't know. I mean, no, none of us were <laughs> there. It happened before 1985. I really don't know if it happened <laughs> in the world or sports. Okay. Why are pizza boxes square when the pizza is round? 
Do you know the answer to this? No. Is this, is this like a, I thought you meant like an actual answer to this. No, there's no answers. So you can put the sauces in there. Ooh, that's a good answer. Okay, one more. That's it? You only got one more for me? Yep, I do. Okay. If you could compare yourself with any animal, what would it be and why? Um, I think a meerkat. A meerkat? That's what comes to mind. Tall, skinny, scrappy. Oh, I was going to go with like, you know, a unicorn. And there's why? Only, there's only one of me. And why? <laughs> yeah, that's true. There is only one of me. I will go unicorn. There is only one. That is yeah. for sure. Yes. And speaking of the only one, Jeff, we have an exciting announcement for our viewers today. Uh, we've done one man on the street interview before, but we want to bring that back this spring and summer. And so we are going to have you, Jeff. You already named it yourself. You JT on the streets. JT on the streets coming this spring. We're going to have a couple episodes with you. I can't wait. Uh, and after you just heard me talk about Lollipop and Big Pimpin, you know I'm a man. It's going to uh, be fun. I'm a man of the streets. So <laughs> Little JT <laughs> on the streets the and street. S.D. the 605. Did you have to pull up a Denali out there too? Uh, yes. <laughs> now, listen, when I was back in college, I had a Chrysler 300 with 22-inch rims. At least there were no 22-inch rims. You were rims the whitest that. person I've seen. The absolute whitest. But you know what? <laughs> I'm a man of the streets and I can't wait to hang out with people. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're going to ask you guys random questions on the street. Get better to know Jeff. Get to know. Better, I thought these were just fine for coming up with them last night. <laughs> That's pretty good. I will actually put more work into it and have better Thank questions you. for you. But I look forward Thank to hanging you. out. Thank you. Now that you've dissed us in our show, we're not going to have you on again. Kidding. Look forward to it. Okay, well, Jeff Turn, everybody, make sure you tune in this spring. We will obviously advertise those episodes before they come out. And thanks for tuning in to another What's Up Wednesday. Good job. <laughs>